to do and shout out. Hello. Hold up. Slight change of plan, people. The following shout out will not be seen due to circumstances beyond my control. But don't worry, we have a great substitute. Today on shout outs, Jake. Hello everyone, it's me, Psycho Rick. <laughs> supposed to be shouting out Lone Wolf, but he got cold paws at the last minute. So, as an emergency shout out, we're doing Jacob. Oh, Jacob, you really thought you was going to dodge it, didn't you? But, I met Jacob through live stream with Failure Accomplished. Also, his one video he did responding to the idiot we all know as Marina Shut Up. He did a response video to her video on people responding to her. And Marina, like all other idiot third wave modern feminists, reacted exactly how they always do like a fucking child which caused her followers to come and white knight for her which basically made very chime in so he and Jacob ended up doing a collab together taking on Marina Shut Up and after that, Jacob very formed a friendship and he got a huge boost in subscribers. So other than that right there, his content, his videos, his thought of life, one of the greatest things that you ever see. And I also love how he loves to pick with Otter face in the Ottoman Empire telling it that it sucked and so when Pat decided to join the Ottoman Empire we decided to pull a little prank and fucking with his little speech but we didn't think Otter face was gonna go so far as to have her minion shoot him we were just trying to have fun and that motherfucker hasn't forgiven me since. You damn right I haven't forgiven you, motherfucker. Come on, man. How many times I gotta fucking apologize? Like I told you, I'm sorry. I didn't know Otter Face was gonna shoot your ass. Yeah, sure you didn't, bitch. But God, man. Bitch can't take a joke. Knowing him, this probably be the last time you actually ever see me on this channel. Nah, I can't do that. People like you too much. You staying. Oh, for real? I knew you should kill me, man. See, I told you, we just like this. We tight. But next time, I'll think twice before pulling my pranks on your punk ass. <laughs> yeah, you gotta love your boy, Pat. But, to give you a little taste, uh, Jacob, here he is. Check out his channel, like, subscribe if his content is what you're into. But 
it's time for me to go. There's a whole lot of trick-or-treating out there. Waiting for the psycho row. Until next time. <laughs> So the other day, I released a response video to Marina Shut Up where she talked about how people need to stop making response videos because they're used to manipulate audiences and take people out of context. I naturally made a video response to this, of course. Now overall, I was pretty respectful other than maybe one or two things I said. Don't worry, the point of her video wasn't lost on me. I said if she didn't like video responses, she could debate me on Skype or Google Hangouts. Her response? Block me on Twitter and make a video about me. Let's actually watch that video right now. Why did you Americafy me? Why? Why did you do this? This kind of video is probably not going to end well for me, but we're just going to go for it. You're damn right this isn't going to end well for you. Uh... That was it? That measly 17 seconds where all she said was that I Americafied her, which by the way, I didn't do it for her, but way to be narcissistic, hun, and say... Ugh! And of course, she gets uproarious support from her fans, and bada bing, five minutes later, I have tons of dislikes on my video. And all the comments are saying that the point of her video went over my head, which obviously nobody saying this has actually watched my video, because the point of my video was if you really don't like video responses, debate me. And she blocked me on Twitter. So maybe it's not video responses she doesn't like, maybe it's any negative response. Now, one of the points she brought up in her video was that when people make response videos to her, she gets loads of hate and is forced to disable comments and ratings or take her video down. Do you see the irony here? Let me show you the facts. She whines in her video about getting hate whenever people respond to her. I respond to her. On her video, 1400 likes, 92 dislikes, overwhelming support. She responds to my video in an extremely childish way, 17 seconds of her being a whiny bitch. Now my video has 21 likes and 86 dislikes, and almost only hateful comments. Now I'm not being a bitch about this, I'm not turning off my comments or ratings or taking down my video. Why? Because hate doesn't mean anything to me. It's hate. I can deal with it, unlike Marina here. And her UGG video? 258 likes and 8 dislikes. Now if that isn't an interesting turn of events, the irony here is ridiculous, and the people in the comments think they're some sort of heroes. I'm gonna read some of the comments to you. On my video, I'm gonna read some from my video first. Wild Eye said, You didn't make any sort of argument whatsoever. All you did was attack her. Really, all I did was attack her? I called her an idiot once, and I call my friends idiots too. So the video wasn't a, an attack on her. That, that video was actually the most respectful video I've made to anyone so far. Ryan Edmund said, All you did was take Marina out of context. WTF LOL. To that I just said, How so? I'm still waiting on a response for that one. Love Pre Snag says, You really need to get a life, dude. Really, that coming from a person who only has how many? Oh, zero subscribers. Yeah, I need the life. Now on the flip side, let's look at some of the comments on Marina's video. The Science of Sheik says, Did he not listen to the video? Like, bro, you're proving her point. I didn't prove her point. I invited her to a debate because she didn't like video responses. If anything, I went along with what she said. Amy Earl says, I'm not going to go watch the video because I don't want to give people like that the time of day or give them any views slash ad revenue. But arg. Does anyone else find people like this seriously creepy? Damn right it isn't gonna end well for you is so creepy. Ugh, alright. I think most people wouldn't find it creepy that she started the video by saying that it wasn't gonna end well for her, and I simply agreed with her. That's not creepy at all. So let's sum this experience up. Grown woman makes video complaining about how video responses get her hate and misquote her and make her take her videos down. 15 year old boy, moi, makes video response saying we don't deliberately send hate, says that we don't misquote her, and invites her to a debate outside of video responses. 
Grown woman makes 17 second video complaining about the kid's video, gets emotional, blocks him on Twitter, and gets his video tons of hate. So, what went over whose head, Marina? Did your point go over my head? Or did my point go miles and miles above yours? Also, I don't think I went hard enough on Marina in this video or the one before it, so I'm going to end the video on this. Marina, you are human trash. You are emotional, and then you lie to your fans and act like you play no hand in your emotions. You say one thing when you really mean another. You are an absolute manipulative cunt who understands nothing about the world. You lie and say you want open dialogue and then block me on Twitter when I offer you a platform to have an open dialogue. You get mad at people for accidentally sending hate to others' channels, and then you say nothing about yourself when you're on the trigger end of the gun. You are an absolute hypocritical piece of trash, and when people try to be nice to you, you turn around and spit in their faces. Everything you said in your original video has happened quite contrarily, and yet you still sit on your high horse and act as though you were in the right this whole time. And after all this, you've done nothing but show that a 15-year-old boy can handle his emotions better than you can. Have a nice day, everyone. Next time on Shoutouts, Biggest Mike.